say I'm an artist because all yeah. artists are not teenagers. There, there, there are artists who work full time jobs, but how can I get myself out there cheaply? Does it cost? Should I have this huge reserve of money, or do you have any general tips for me? Maybe two, three tips that I can get myself out there on a budget. The cheapest way right now is TikTok. Point blank. All right. And I'll explain why. So my time in tech, what I learned early on is with every single platform, right? They have a curve just like any business. And when a platform is new, they want as much engagement and, and culture and cultivation as possible. They need that. So they're gonna be better to you than when they become Facebook 10 years from now, and then they gotta, they're got they gonna charge you for every little bit of attention you want because they can do that. You, I have the leverage, everybody's already here. Where are you gonna go? Oh yeah, go to the next block, go to the mom and pop store. I'm still Walmart, you get what I'm saying? So um, finding platforms when they're newer in the curve, so it's, so, so you can apply it to not just TikTok. Always be on the lookout. Some, some you know, it's a risk because sometimes it's too early with the platform and they might not really ever hit a certain threshold. But TikTok clearly hit a threshold. The network effect, enough people there where it's just, it's not going anywhere. Um, so TikTok is a place that you want to be. Um, Reels. For on Instagram, not just because they copy TikTok, but again, this happens within platforms, right? It's a new feature within the platform. They want to get people using it, so they're gonna gonna you know add a little sauce to each view, right? Each each post because they want to make sure people are incentivized. They're playing you like a you know they're they're giving you drugs essentially, right? I'm gonna give them more views when they use this because I want them to keep using it. I want them to get addicted to using this. And once they do and I get enough people like that, and then I can do whatever I need to do for it. And then I'll move on to the next feature. So IGTV went through this, story posts went through this, now reels is that. So any platform, just apply that same thinking for any platform. That's going to be free. All that takes is your effort, right? Um, when it comes to advertising, it's not necessarily always the cheapest, but one of the most consistent and sustainable uh, when it comes to terms of price is Facebook ads. The beauty thing about Facebook ads slash IGT, uh, IG ads is one, it's relatively easy to learn. Honestly, Facebook does a lot of work for you in, as opposed to other platforms, right? Um, it's easier, like I teach people all day and it's easier to kind of get them to understand and get and get them to certain results quicker on, on that. So I've seen that uh, for sure. Uh, it's just, but also understand for anybody who's listening and not seeing a direct result when it comes to ads, it's not just how cheap can I get my ad? Right. And the this is a, a issue that anybody who's trying to come up goes through when you don't have a lot of money. A lot of times it leads to bad decisions because you don't see beyond the, the immediate savings. So it's nothing wrong with building a fan base across the world, but you got to have a strategy right for that. Right. But if I get a thousand fans in 100 different countries, that's not as powerful as a thousand fans in this block, right, or in this city, where now that can do more work for me because the goal of artificial uh, promotion, which is what I call it, is to spark organic promotion, right? So if I got a thousand people all together that are experiencing my music, now they can share that experience together. They can go, you know, spread it organically where if I got a thousand people in silos across the world that only communicate with me on my IG page or something, you don't, you don't get that same thing. So don't just focus on, uh, on price because it might be cheaper short term, just any business decision, but the long term strategy can validate why it's more expensive and why it's worth doing still as well when you get into the to the ad thing. But there's a strategy you can apply for every single um, scenario. 
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.